Alright, what's up guys? It's Flo with Music and I'm back with another video for y'all boys, man. And as you guys can tell that beautiful title and thumbnail of today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top three best center builds in NBA 2K22. Now there are a variety of different center builds that you can use in this game whether you want a popper you want to play for rep and use like an interior or something or you want to make an inside because you're not the best shooter on the three either way these are the best center builds in nba 2k22 for anybody who's trying to get into center or for anybody at any skill level so i'm not going to waste too much of this time before we get into the my player builder so make sure you like comment subscribe to my post notifications so you never miss a stream or upload from me and let's get into the my player builder all right so for the first center build we will be making a popper if you don't know what a popper is a popper is literally just like a glass cleaner it's literally just a shooting like it's a shooting center basically is what a popper is so first thing for position you want to make it a power forward side note all of the uh, center builds in this video are going to be at power forward just because power forward center builds are so much better than the actual center center builds but because it get like more speed and stuff so handedness jersey number obviously both personal preference so for the pie chart you want to go with this one right here i gotta find it yeah this one right here the more green than red but it's don't worry about like the slight amount of red you still get like 22 defensive badges but you only get gold badges is what i'm trying to say so you get hall of fame shooting but gold defensive badges so for physical profile you want to go with this one here the pure speed since you want to be as fast as possible in a popper so you want to max out your driving dunk and your driving layup and then don't touch anything else on finishing for shooting you want to max out everything and then drop your post fade until you get 22 shooting badges so 75 post fade now we're going to skip past playmaking and put on your interior perimeter lateral both rebounds and your block so you get 22 defensive badges so if you're playmaking you want to max out your ball handle pass accuracy and then put the rest on your post control so you have four attributes remaining left over you can put it on your steel so you get a 47 steel so the badge layout's 1 22 6 and 22 very balanced and very good for a popper with 22 shooting badges you're really not going to miss especially on a pure green so for body shape i like to go solid on pretty much every build height you want to go six foot eight for more speed and you get a slightly like a little slight boost to your three ball on some of your defense so for weight you want to go minimum weight and then max wingspan so as you can see you have a 77 three-pointer before like 99 overall and all that so 99 overall you have an 81 three ball with hall of fame shooting badges you're and you know in this game it's very easy to shoot so you're gonna be sparking especially if you like have a good jump shot i do have a jump shot video from the beginning of the year but i'm probably gonna make one for like all positions so don't worry about that i'll be dropping my jump shot soon so and you have really good defensive stats so for takeovers there's only two that i recommend and that's sharp and glass takeover so i'm gonna go sharp takeover because i don't really like glass takeover like that it's kind of bad but i mean it's not bad it's just like i don't know it's not as good as it was in 21 and 20 so i'm just gonna go sharp takeover and as you can see you have built a glass cleaner in nba 2k22 now let's get into the next build all right so for this next one we'll be making an inside center it's called a glass cleaning finisher all right it can play defense it has hall of fame defensive badges it's a really good inside finisher it has hall of fame finishing badges as well and it has good playmaking all around this build's not really like a shooting build so this is why it's called an inside bit uh, like an inside big man or inside center build so for position like i said you want to go power forward handiness jersey number both personal preference now for the pie chart you're going to want to go with the half red and the half blue pie chart so you get hall of fame finishing the defensive badges like i said before so this pie chart right here all right so for the physical profile you want to go with the pure speed because pure speed on an inside center is just so good because you want to be as fast as possible it helps with hedge defense and if you want to double like you did in 21 you can double with pure speed way easier than other physical profiles so for the uh so for finishing you want to mess with your close shot driving layup driving dunk and your standing dunk so you get 23 finishing badges and then you can drop your standing dunk or you can drop your close shot a little bit either one i'm gonna drop my close shot a little bit because close shot is still overpowered with like if it's decently high so skip shooting for playmaking you want to mess with your pass accuracy ball handle and post control now you have 13 playmaking badges drop your pass accuracy just so you get a 66 pass accuracy so for defense you have 191 attributes remaining put on your interior perimeter lateral 
your block, both of your rebounds, and then you have six attributes remaining to put on your steal. So you have a 48 steal. 23, 1, 13, and 22 is really good and really balanced for an inside center. You get a lot of playmaking, which I like a lot. I love playmaking on big men. Uh, a lot of people don't put not that much playmaking on their bigs, but if you have playmaking on your big men, I promise you, it is just so much better and you'll be able to figure out why I like playmaking on my big men. So for body shape, again, I like to go solid. Height, six foot eight, so you're faster and stuff. Minimum weight and max wingspan. So as you can see, the defensive stats are really good. The finishing is amazing. A 94 driving dunk, you're gonna be getting so many contacts and stuff, and boom. So takeovers. Now, a lot of people go with rim or glass here, but for the overall dominance on offense, I like to go slashing takeover. And as you can see, like I said before, you have built a glass cleaning finisher in NBA 2K22. This is probably my favorite center build of the video, just because I love inside big men. I really like inside centers in this game. Now let's get into the last and final center build. All right, so for this next center build, this is more like, this is kind of a rep build. This is kind of like an overall dominance on offense type of center build. This is obviously your interior finisher build, which is like the pure blue pie chart. You're gonna get so many finishing badges and you're gonna be so dominant on offense. It's still have a decent defensive rating so for position you want to go power forward hand in his jersey number both personal preference so like i said before with the pie chart for the skill breakdown you want to go with the pure blue pie chart so for the physical profile you want to go pure speed just like you do on every other big man obviously for finishing you're going to want to max out all of this stuff right here besides your post hook so you have 30 finishing badges it's so like just look at the stats this is before wingspan your height and all that and boom all right, so we're gonna skip past playmaking for now. You wanna max out your interior, perimeter, lateral, both of your rebounds, and then max out your block at a 73 for 12 defensive badges. Now I have 86 attributes remaining for playmaking. You wanna max out your ball handle, pass accuracy, put the rest on pose control. So you have 17 playmaking badges to work with. So you can mess this around, get more pose control or less pass accuracy and stuff, but I really think pass accuracy is essential on this type of build. So. 31, 17, and 12, very dominant on the offensive end and still is really good on defense, so don't worry about that. So, body shape, I go solid. Height, you wanna go 6'8", but you can go 6'9", if you want that extra bit of height, but I wanna go 6'8", for that extra boost of speed. Minimum weight, and then obviously you wanna go maximum wingspan. So you have a 95 driving dunk, you're gonna get a 99 driving dunk, at 99 overall this build is so overpowered when you have slashing takeover and stuff it's very fun to play on so obviously you want to go slashing takeover on an interior finisher and as you can see you have built an interior finisher build in nba 2k22 now this is a really good build i highly recommend that you make any three of these center builds but this is gonna be the end of the video bro make sure you like comment subscribe to post notifications and i'm out man